Hi guys, Steve here, and this video I'll be answering the second most asked question on my live streams. What's my favourite map? But before we start, let me know in the comments below your top three maps. And have a guess, what's my favourite? Now this video is not to be confused with what's the best DLC to buy, as that'll come later. This one's what I think are the best and nicest maps to play on. I'm not going to include the centre as I never played on it. And we'll start off in reverse order. So at the bottom we have Genesis. Here they tried something new with many smaller maps, but for me it didn't work. The maps were too small and you couldn't build where you wanted, as you had to work around the hexagon challenge courses, leaving you very few good places to build on. You used Helena to teleport you around each zone, which would have been fine if it worked. But half the teleport landing zones bring you out in the same place. And sometimes when you teleport, you leave all your dinosaurs behind, or your dinosaurs teleport, leaving you behind. Labelling a bog as the easiest starting zone is a piss take from the devs, because you have groups of capros grabbing you off your mount, and swarms of razor flies irritating you every few minutes. The bog is the dark and gloomiest of all the maps and a miserable place to play. The arctic is the best place to play on once you can fight the cold, that's where we built our main base on a let's play series. It's nice to be by the water and the ocean zone, but there's not much land to build on, and most of it's high up. The volcano is another dark zone that feels like Mount Doom, and I like the volcano mechanics how it erupts, but it's too dark and miserable to build my main base on there. The lunar zone's fine with low gravity, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass how it keeps killing you if you haven't got the right gear. Overall on Genesis, with the hexagon challenge courses blocking you from building, the small maps seem even more confined. Next we have Aberration. At the time I thought it was a dark and gloomy map, but after playing in the bog on Genesis, it seems a hell of a lot brighter. The map itself is spread out well, with the safer areas at the top going down to the more dangerous areas at the bottom. The devs again were having a laugh when they labelled the top ring room as an easy starter, when you have basilisks everywhere ready to eat you. And if you watch my Aberration Let's Play series, you'll know that the other starting areas aren't that great because it took me 30 minutes just to find one stone to start off with. Tech element is a pain to make. But the main problem I've got with Aberration is it's too dark and gloomy. The next five are in no particular order, as I think of them almost the same. Some look better than others, and some were a bit more fun to play on at the time. I'll give you my thoughts on them, and then go to my number one pick. Crystal Isles is a good all round map, and has some interesting unique areas. The Crystal Wyverns are a good addition to the game, as they're easy to tame and one of the fastest flyers. Other resources are fairly easy to get, and the map has a unique Wyvern boss. There are some areas in the ocean where there's virtually no creatures, and the lighting looks oversaturated in the daytime. The Island was the first map, and it's a good all rounder. I spent over a year on it in PvP, and those good old days bring back fond memories. Check out the video where I'm soloing the Alpha Tribe. It's a great map to start on, but I spent so much time on it, and I've done everything, so it's nice to go to new different maps. Extinction. I had fun on this map as I brought in lots of new creatures, and the titan taming aspect of the game was really good fun. Building space was a bit limited, as it's only safe to build in the shielded city or the other special biomes. Having those biomes connected by the way of one big map was the right way of doing it, and I wish I'd done that on Genesis. Extinction was really good fun, there was lots to do, and I had a good time playing on there. Scorched Earth was the first DLC and it was a good one. We added lots of new creatures and the Wyverns were a big deal and a huge jump in the arms race. I have fond memories of that map, as it was the last time you could do good PvP before they ruined it with cross-server transfers. The sandstorms and heatwaves were an interesting mechanic that made it a bit tricky at times, and the sandworms were like fun challenging mini-bosses all in themselves. Valgero is a big, nice-looking, well-made map. There's plenty of resources around to gather, and there's loads of places to build a really good base. The only new creature added on this map was a Feather Raptor, so it didn't really warrant a Let's Play series from me, and I didn't spend that much time on here. But what time I did was fun. I wasn't too bothered about the underwater sea, as there wasn't much down there, and there's only a few ways to get to it. But it's a good place to start off on and farm lots of metal. And that means my favourite number one map is Ragnarok. It looks the best by far and there's some really nice natural looking areas. It's a huge map with many biomes. And it was the first to have griffins, and there's wyverns on there as well. The snow wyvern nests are a bit of a pain in the ass to find, and I could have done better there. The lava golem mini boss gave some of the best loot in Ark at the time, like ascended wrecks and giga saddles. But since I did a video on it, I think they've nerfed it, which is typical. 
The only thing I don't like about Ragnarok is the ridiculously hard and stupidly designed maze to get the artifacts. It is painfully bad to do and not fun in the slightest. I really hope they redo it. Apart from that, playing on the map itself is really good fun. I'll link the funny Let's Play series I did with my friend Musper at the end. It's definitely worth a watch. So yes, Ragnarok is my favourite map. Tell me yours in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.